This morning we're going to cover how to create, find, and drop an index using MongoDB or in MongoDB. And we're going to start off by using our uh, SQL in 6 database. And there's a couple of things uh, to note really fast is that when we, when we create an index, I would always check to make sure that the index, of course, goes through. And so we'll, we'll start off by looking for um, our collections here. And so we're going to use the HF algorithm. So I'm going to do db.hf um, algorithm. Uh, actually, let's do db.system.indexes.find.pretty. And we can see that we do have an index on the um, HS, HF algorithm, and that is on the ID field. So one of the uh, values in HF algorithm is the name field. That's like name future stocks bonds. Um, and this, is, of course, is all test data, so it's not actually a high-frequency algorithm. But what we can do is we can build an index on the field that is name. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say ensure index. And so the field is called name. And I'm going to say one. Now we can go back to the, the indexes. And we can see at the very bottom that we have an index called uh, name underscore one. And we also see that uh, it is indexed the name field. So if we were to do db... Uh, dot hf algorithm oops algorithm dot find dot pretty we can get back and you can see that we have the date of course and we have the name and that's stk and there could also be future or bond okay now that's how to create an index and then of course as you see um, you can always verify that the index exists so that's basically how to make sure that an index exists or in some cases you want to just find if there's an index on the table obviously if uh, we don't know if there's an index on the table we, we might want to search that that field is not indexed before making some assumptions but what if we want to remove the index so we want to remove the same index that we made so what we're going to do is we're going to do uh, db.hf algorithm dot drop index and then we're just going to pass in the name of the index. So in this case, name one. And you can see the number of indexes was two. And of course, we see that we dropped one. So it's actually very simple. Because we're specifying the collection, there's no other information that's needed. But that's how to create, find, and drop an index on a collection.